What up, what up, YouTube fam? Chelsea from Chelsea Asif Late here. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about thrifting, secondhand shopping, having fun with our fashion and creative styling. So if that's your jam, make sure you join the fam. If you're not new here, <clears throat> um, yeah, so yeah, we're not even gonna get into it. Welcome back as well. Welcome back. We're all new here. Let's let's start over. Today I am coming to you guys live with a massive thrift haul. I keep looking down because it's it's staring at me, the huge pile of stuff that I found at the thrift store this week. And y'all, honestly, I think this might be my very best thrift haul yet to this date. I was traveling recently, so I didn't get to thrift as consistently, and I missed this so much that I started watching thrifting videos on youtube i just started binging like thrift hauls thrift with me is like all of the thrifting video content on youtube and i was just like ready to go as soon as i could and as soon as i got back to the states i was like yep yeah, we're going to my favorite thrift we're going on 50 percent off day and y'all i kid you not i found the most stuff and i really tried to be as selective as possible i left a few things behind but I just found so many freaking gems. Honestly, like, this bag full of stuff. So, grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, whatever you desire, whatever your heart desires, and let's get into it. I will say, I did thrift both in season and out of season, so we're gonna divide the two. I'm gonna show you in season first, just cause it's a little bit more exciting. We're like, we're in it, we're in hot girl summer, it's happening. And then we're going to get into some of the fall winter stuff that I also found that I could not pass up. I usually don't, but honestly, these things were so good that I was just like, yeah, I'm rolling the dice on these. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with the last thing I probably found, this cute little sweater. I know it's not summer per se, but it could be maybe like a chilly summer night, if not going into fall. It's a cardigan. It is um, multicolored, obviously, orange, yellow, pink, all the colors I'm loving lately. I'm really into these like punchy, vibrant colors and hues, and it has a small kind of like, I wouldn't call it pom-pom. It's just like a little circle <laughs> detail. I don't know what to call these. These guys all throughout the sweater i loved it and because it was 50 percent off day this was only four dollars and fifty cents it is long sleeve and yeah i could wear this either as a top or as a cardigan like on top of an outfit so i was very excited about this one i almost passed on it because i'm like chelsea you do not need this right now but honestly these colors y'all like these colors i could not i could not leave her behind I'm starting this thing on my blog where I'm sharing my thrift lists, like things I'm looking for every month at the beginning of the month. And a huge thing for summer for me was terry cloth. Like I really love these terry cloth sets. It's just like anything terry cloth. It's kind of beachy. Reminds me of summer. And y'all, I found these pants by a brand called City Sites. But okay, <laughs> it's not really a city girl type of moment, but... They are just like these kind of capris, but they're a nice length. Like I don't, I can't do like actual capri like below my knee. That's a little much for me. But I can do like a um, middle of the shin type deal. So shin, yeah, <laughs> middle of the calf, I guess. This is what I found. It's obviously very bright and yellow. Honestly, like a moment, perhaps, perhaps a moment. And they're super comfy. I was afraid they were gonna be a little low rise because you know, these Y2K girls got me questioning a lot of things lately, but because we're not going back to the low rise, y'all. We are not going back to the low rise trend. Please stop it. I beg of you, stop. So I was afraid these were gonna be a little too low rise, but they weren't. They were a nice rise, like a mid rise, and they are super comfortable, and they were only $3, so. Okay, next up, I found this polka dot, kind of like, this was in the tops, but it could be a dress, if not at least a beach cover up. It's a long sleeve polka dot, silky situation, and is it silk? It must be, it says dry clean only. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna find a way around that because my dry cleaner and I are beefing right now, so But it feels silky it feels soft. It has shoulder pads super structured And I just thought this could be such a cute cover-up because it is a button-down So you can just unbutton it throw it over your bathing suit and go to the beach and this was only 350 with a 50% off Wow <laughs> Mental math is not my forte Another kind of summer knit that I found that I really, really loved was this orange number. It has a sort of like lace-up 
detail and it has a undershirt but i would probably take it out it is ralph lauren lauren ralph lauren so that was pretty cool i fun fact i worked for them in college so anytime i find them i'm like mm -hmm. love that for me um anyway yes this could be cute layered over things also another beach cover-up moment it could be i honestly love like summer layers because i feel like just any anytime you add another layer to an outfit it makes it more interesting so i love finding these like lighter layers that i can wear during the summer because as we know it gets hot in new york we are still going through a heat wave it feels like forever it's been months in a heat wave so yeah anyway this is cute and it was only two dollars and fifty cents yes we're getting faster at this math baby okay the next thing i've why am i like this the next thing i found is this slip dress it was in the lingerie department because y'all know the best finds are in the lingerie department it's just like an easy little slip it has the lace detail at the bottom and yeah i mean i can layer this under a blazer i can wear this over a t-shirt i can wear it as is so many options and this was only three dollars you gotta love 50 percent off days okay <laughs> now we're getting into the exciting stuff that was all really exciting but the next few sets y'all okay let's get into it spend your break all right the next thing i found was a set this is definitely silk and it is this button down that could be worn open or closed as a top and it has this sort of like interesting floral print and this skirt which personally i wish it was a little shorter but like i said my dry cleaners alterations guy and i are beefing so i can't go to him right now uh or ever probably so i'm gonna have to figure something out honestly maybe a little diy moment it is a little loose on me as well so i have to like cinch it in with a belt and then i don't know like maybe like oh i've seen i've seen these like tiktok hacks all those videos we all know we all know the ones where um if you put like a little scrunchie kind of like in here it kind of gives you like that high slit situation a little leg action so my try that with this honestly it was just it was too good to pass up and it was only mental math mental math mental math seven dollars and fifty cents for a set for a set for a summer set because honestly majority of the time that i find sets at the thrift store it is suits or like heavy wool like fall stuff which i love but <laughs> it's 90 degrees baby i cannot do wool <laughs> i cannot do heavy so i love it i love anytime i can find a summer set and speaking of sets i found this one i want to say it's 60s 70s but i honestly need to brush up on like my fashion history because i'd be saying that and then it's like 2002 this set i don't think y'all are ready <laughs> i don't think y'all are ready this set right here is it's a blazer it's lace has a yellow lining and then the lace is kind of a floral print with pinks and oranges and all the colors that i'm loving right now blazer midi skirt fits like a damn glove i mean you really can't make this stuff up you really cannot make this stuff up it is so freaking good i can wear this separately i can wear the skirt with a t-shirt or with a nice top and then i can wear the blazer with jeans some fun pants and a tee like i can wear them together i can wear this as a shirt like anyway i loved it i found this and i honestly thought about it for a second because i'm like this is what this is a problem with 50 percent off thing even though things are so freaking cheap or excuse me because things are so cheap when you see something a little bit of a higher price you're like am i gonna really pay for this when i'm paying like 250 for other things but then i was like are you crazy chelsea are you really gonna pass this up for ten dollars it was ten dollars and fifty cents this set vintage truly vintage i will owe you guys the i'll owe you guys the era i'm pretty sure it's 60s 70s the brand is called stiletto ink and so no yeah i literally like knocked some sense into myself and was like are you dumb like you know the tiktok am i dumb that one um that's how i felt but i got it thankfully i would have regretted that till the day i died if i did not get that set hallelujah okay another thing that was on my july thrift list was more sportswear kind of like sh sportswear streetwear type of thing because i've always loved 
those type of outfits with like jerseys and like I don't know just like funky like like even like Nike bralettes like sports bralettes but I never actually follow through with it like I always look at it I always pin it and I never actually try it so I'm dedicated I'm trying it in the month of July and I found this jersey which is kind of like that mesh material from here on down as you can see and yeah no I love the color it's really nice fitting it's gonna be like an oversized fit and I'm thinking I can wear this either with like a fun midi skirt like this to dress it up or maybe just like some color blocking with some pants like yellow pants or a mini skirt could even look really cute with this we're gonna try some things out so I'm really excited and this was only three dollars and fifty cents Mr. Rothy must be so proud of me my mental math is or my mental math yeah mental math you know what <laughs> just never mind <laughs> just erase the whole thing next up are these pants they are express technically dead stock because they have the original tag and i wish i don't know if it's if express is one of those brands that shows or like has the year that things were made on the tag i know j crew does it but i don't think express does. i want to say this was like early to mid 2000s it's not a low rise but not a mid rise it's like right at an awkward length but because of the type of pant it is i can pull it off it's a linen pant so it's like easier to like kind of like move around stretch and yeah they're just linen white pants with a little drawstring love 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 these can be such a staple so i grabbed them they were only four nine four nine nine minus 50 percent 250 <laughs> y'all know i love me some grandma chic everything i do i love i i have a grandma soul and so i found this and i tried i really did i tried to leave it behind and i just couldn't I couldn't so it's a set it's a dress like literally your grandma's couch in a dress it comes with a belt which is somewhere here's the belt and then it has this little like jacket bolero situation that if you put this all together you will be picked up and donated to a goodwill because you are a literal grandma couch however if you separate the possibilities are endless it was only five dollars and 50 cents and this alone was enough for me i would dress this down with jeans and a cool top a ton of jewelry like a ton of necklaces and go about my day happily so i'm really happy i picked this up don't come for me and my grandma chic style thank you all right now we are going to get into the fall stuff fall and winter i found a lot and a few things will be for the shop so keep that in mind if you don't know, I have a shop called Shop as of Late. We sell secondhand, vintage, and all things so in fashion. So check it out. I'll leave the name here and the link down below if you're interested. Back to the sportswear trend. Obviously, this is not going to be summer, but still very, very much on that like sportswear, streetwear vibe. This sweater, it was only three dollars and yeah i love the color i love the kind of like bright yellow with blue very collegiate very scholarly <laughs> if that's a word and yeah i don't know this is probably a high school quin quinnipiac quinnipiac where you at you'll probably google it as well but <laughs> who has time for that another kind of sweater top that i found that's more christmasy honestly but you know late fall this is giving november <laughs> this kind of like plaid red and black top with a black i want to say like cotton collar and wow my back is really itching you guys <laughs> my mind always goes to the worst anyway black and red kind of giving lumberjack but chic vibes and it's just a sweater ass type top and this was only three bucks this was a top that i was debating on because it could be kind of like grandma goes to a party but it could also be kind of cool it's this like metal gold top very shimmery and then it has a bunch of kind of like small they're not even diamantes they're like some sort of sparkle it's very it's flatter than a little diamante like it's not even it could be sewn in honestly I don't know the inner workings of making garments but this was just a top it has kind of like a bat sleeve dolman sleeve whatever they're called and yeah i mean when i picked it up originally i'm like could this be a dress but 
once I tried it on, it could not be a dress unless I'm trying to go places. And by places, I mean OnlyFans. So yeah, I still picked it up. I'm very happy. I'll probably tuck this into like high-waisted disco pants. I still have not given up my disco pants from 2010. Sue me. And I still wear them. And I love them. And I would wear with this, probably. Or if I want to dress it down like black jeans or something. Or just go crazy and find like metallic pants and make it a metallic suit, baby. Because <laughs> it's fashion. It's giving do whatever you want. And this is only $3. This next one was a gem. This is a velvet jumpsuit. It is sleeveless. It has a mock neck. It is pretty straight leg, has a pretty straight leg, and it looks black, maybe not, it's it's navy blue, but it kind of gives black, you know, when it's in the dark, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Super cute. I picture like my hair all the way slicked back with a, like a wide gold belt, and going to a party. <laughs> That's what I picture. And this is only, this was only $4.00. And 50 cents going back to that kind of like holiday-esque moment I found this dress and this is just like a kind of like is this a shift dress again have to brush up on my fashion terms it has a nice embroidery around the neck it is this like red and black classic tartan print I think it's called brand is body English and this is going to the shop so we shall keep prices to ourselves <laughs> So you can expect to see that at shop as of late in the future. This jacket is an H&M find and I usually try to stay away from like fast fashion brands when I'm thrifting because we all know they're not as durable as like vintage brands and vintage finds. But this one was really cute and really cheap for what it was. It's a pink kind of like motor jacket. Definitely more wintry because it's very heavy. And I remember, I think I remember seeing this in stores so it was kind of cool to find it because it's recent, you know? And this was only $4.50. It's definitely going to be a winter, like early winter coat for me. This next find, I've been trying to look for something like it for a while because I found one and I posted on the shop and it sold immediately. So I wanted one for myself. It's kind of like this carpet print material situation. Yeah, I really love the colors of it. I really love the print. It fits a little bit more structure than I would like, but I can still make it work, honestly. It's totally fine and it's machine washable that's always such a good find this is seven dollars and fifty cents so not that cheap but listen to me seven dollars is not that cheap the thrift stores have brainwashed me into believing that we should all be paying cents to the dollar for clothing last few finds i found this black leather skirt and it's so cool y'all it's an a-line skirt midi skirt but it has these lace panel one panel singular panel and then a lace trimming and it fit nicely it was honestly such a good find i'm not sure if i want to keep it or put it on the shop because it is that cool so we shall keep our prices to ourselves for this one but i really love it i really love it i'm really considering keeping it but it's so hard when i find something really cool i kind of want to share with y'all and put it on the shop but i also want to keep it so i don't know blazers two more blazers i found this red one red and black seems to be the theme of the fall stuff and it's by a brand called breckenridge ever heard of it oversized uh padded shoulders and likely going on the shop so very happy i found that one this one i debated leaving because i have so many wool blazers for the fall but honestly the print i'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up on camera and the color was just so 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 good it's just such a nice shape it's oversized for sure but it is a little bit more cinched on the in the waist so i really like that about it it's jones new york which is a good brand to thrift and yeah i loved it found some really cool belts and some bags that i loved and loved that i loved and want to share with y'all and we're gonna start with jewelry actually found this pearl necklace which is my probably 10th pearl necklace at this point that i've drifted but this one was interesting because it has this kind of like shell shell detail in the middle and so i thought that made it so beautiful and so interesting and just like really cool to layer it kind of gives oh it kind of gives me western feels here maybe because i have <laughs> this wide brim hat and i'm wearing neutral colors but i loved it nonetheless and this was only two dollars and fifty cents found this 
Roche, which whenever I find these cool ones for cheap, I always grab them. They make such cool accessories for hats, for blazers, just like you can play around with it. And this was $4. And so y'all understand the collection. It's a moment. <laughs> Two belts that I really, really loved, and I am trying to be even pickier with belts because I have so many, so it has to be really special for me to pick it up. But I found this brown one that has this, like, sun and moon belt buckle. There you go. English. This sun and moon belt buckle, and I loved it. It's a brown belt. It's a waist belt. It fit really nicely. Brand is Vincenza Sport, and it was $3.50. And then I found this white one. It's a wide belt belt it's Anne Klein and it has these um, gold kind of studs all throughout which I really really loved you know can never get enough white belts apparently because I have like three white ones at this point and this was only four dollars and fifty cents two bags I have been eyeing different metal metallic bags for a while at the thrift stores you know you can find these all the time but i've always wanted to get one with like a really nice shape that is actually useful like not just like a wallet fits in there so this one was a really nice space it is a little dirty on the inside so i have to clean it but yeah no it's just really cool it has a silver strap and yeah it could be a nighttime bag or a daytime bag so i grabbed it for five dollars and fifty cents last bag was this little clutch what really sold me was the strap because it kind of gives like bracelet energy like this could be an accessory on itself i mean it is an accessory it could be a jewelry as well as a bag accessory this was a dollar and fifty cents so really inexpensive and then the last accessory y'all the very last accessory is this pink moment it is a uh, betsy johnson i believe yeah betsy johnson scarf it's vintage because of the tag, I know that for a fact. And it's just like a fun or ruffly scarf that I can either wear as a scarf or as a top. So I was very excited when I found this because possibilities are endless. I could wear this as a skirt, like so many options. And this was only $2.50. So, all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this haul. Honestly, I think one of my best thrift hauls till this day, I found so many gems and things that I actually love and I want to wear and I didn't just buy because it was trending or because, I don't know, like I, there were definitely some trends in there, but these are things that I wanted to bring home and give life to and I'm just really happy, honestly. I was so happy to be home and thrifting again and showing you guys this. I promise y'all, I will be consistent this time. I'm coming back every week, every Thursday. So if you're into thrifting, if you're into having fun with your fashion, if you're into all things creative styling, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification or whatever the hell. And comment below. What should we do next? What video do y'all want to see from me? What content do y'all want to see from me? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which was your favorite piece. I know there were plenty to choose from. So let me know in the comments as well. Thank you again so much for watching. You can find me here every Thursday. And in the meantime, I am Chelsea as of late on all social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, you name it, I'm there. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.